Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how can we get cumulative total, cumulative average for rolling n period. This learning will be restricted for a single dimension. But before moving ahead, I will strongly recommend you to go through video number 54 and video number 55. In video number 54, I have explained how inter-record functions like above and below works. And in video number 55, we covered range functions like range sum, range mean, range max, range average, etc. So let's go. To make our job easy, I'm going to use the same data which I have used for the previous video. That's video number 64. And at the front end, I have created a straight table. We have year, year quarter and month year inside filter. First of all, let me explain you what is rolling average and rolling total. I have exported this table inside an excel file and I will show you what, what I mean by rolling average and rolling total. So the first one here is rolling three months total. So the rolling three months total means for January 2021 we don't have any other records before January 2021 so the rolling three months total is same as the total of January. But for February the total will be sum of sales of February plus sum of sales of January. So that means total of these two. So it will be 23,305. For March, we have two more months before that and we are looking for three months rolling total. So now for March 2021, the rolling three months total is sales of March, sales of February and sales of January. So together all three will be 36,894. And the same way for April, sales of April, sales of March and sales of February 2021. We don't need to consider now January because we are only looking about three months total. So the total will be February to April 2021 sales means 37,733. So this is how rolling average will work. For the six month, the same. For January, it will be a single month. For February, it will be a two months. For March, it will be a three months. For April, it will be a four months. For May, it will be a total of five months. For June, it will be a total of six months. Now we are talking about ruling six months. So for July, it will only consider from February to July. January is out of the scope of the six month. So rolling six month total for July 2021 equal to February 2021 to July 2021 sales and for August 2021 the total will be from August to March and this is how the rolling 6 month will work same way rolling 12 months will work. Now what about average? So for average what we have to do is instead of total we have to use average function. So for first month rolling 3 months will be same as January 2021. But for February 2021, it will be sum of these two divided by two. So that means we are getting 11,653. For March, it will be a total of these three divided by three. And for April, it will be a total of these three because now we are talking about rolling three months average. So rolling three month average for April 2021 is February 2021, March 2021 and April 2021 divided by three. So the total divided by 3, we are getting 12,579. And the same will apply for 6 month and 12 month. So hope you understand how rolling n period total and rolling n period average will work. Now our objective is to get the same in click. Here inside the previously created state table, what I will do, I will go to the sum of sales and here you can find the modifier. So this is an inbuilt function in click and here you can select accumulation and if you do full accumulation then it will do the accumulation for all periods. But instead of that we need a range of 3 months. So I will select custom range for 3 months and when I will apply these changes we are getting the total as 3 months accumulation. Let's compare this one with our Excel file. So now you can see we are getting total similar to what we have in Excel file. The same total we are getting in click. 
so this is working absolutely fine so now let's select month here i will select month here all months from year 2022 and now let's see what is happening here so for january 2 so for january to september we should get total as like this so what is happening here we are not getting the same total okay for from march 2022 onwards we are getting the total same as this excel file but what happening with the previous two months for january we should get total of november 2021 december 2021 and january 2022 and similarly for February 2022, we should get total of December 2021, January 2022 and February 2022. But here we are not getting this total. Why? Because as per the selections, year 2021 months are not part of these selections. And now what is happening? Our expression is considering our selections. So because of that, we are not getting this sales of sum of November and December. According to the video number 56, where I have shown how to do the cumulative total, we can use range sum function and above function here. So what I will do, first of all, I will get the same total here. So what I will do here, I will write a range sum function. I will say range sum above sum of sales 0, 3. So that means we will get total of three rows based on sum of sales. If you want to understand more about range sum function, please go through video number 55 and video number 56. I have covered this topic there. So now you can see we are getting total same as I will say rolling three months as a label and number function I will use as zero decimal. So now you are, we are getting the same total. We don't need this. I will remove this sum of sales and I will remove the total as well because we don't need total here. So I will say none. So as soon as I will select all the months of 2022, we are missing the totals of January and February. So to correct that, we need to bypass this month year selections in our expression. So to do that, I will use the set expression here and I will bypass month year selections in my final expression. So what this will do, whatever month year selections I will do, so this expression will ignore that month year selections. So now you can see that as soon as I have applied this formula, we are getting the same total as for the January and February. But one issue came here now because we have bypassed month year selections. When you are selecting month year, you are still getting total of your previous month year, which you ex exactly don't want. So here come your aggregation. What we need to do? We can now aggregate our expression by month year. So we will only get month years which we are selected or which are part of the selections. So now you can see that we are getting our final output. So once more what we have done, first of all we have used range sum and above functions and we have created three months ruling average. Then we have bypassed month year, we have added month year in a set analysis so that our whole expression will ignore the month year selections and now we need to ignore data of not selected month year or month year which are not a part of our selections to do that we have used the agar function by month year so this is how we are getting our final output now say instead of month year i am selecting year 2022 then what will happen again we are getting the same issue because we haven't bypass or we haven't ignored the selection of year. So to do that, again I will go here and with month here, I will also bypass year here. 
you don't need to do the agar by year so as, as soon as i have added year and apply it now i am getting the same answer same way say now i want total by quarter 1 and quarter 2 only so again i am facing the same issue so to avoid that again i will pass year quarter here and now by applying this i will get my desired output so hope you understand how to get the ruling 3 months total now what about average so to get the average you simply have to duplicate this expression and instead of range sum write down range average and by doing this we will compare it with our excel file you can see that we are getting the same result here again because we have bypassed year quarter and month year this will also work when you select 2022 and now if you see here we are getting the same answer what if you want total by 6 month so to do that copy this formula and instead of 3 months i will write here 6 month and here instead of 3 i will write 6 year same way now here i will say total here also i will say average here i will say total and the 6 month i will say average and instead of range sum i will say range average so hope you understand how we can use inter record functions and range function to get the cumulative total and with the use of set analysis and aggregation function we can get the desired result even though we have some selections hope you like this video thanks and have a great day